For centuries, science operated under the assumption that observation is a passive act. We measure a room's temperature without affecting it. But in the bizarre realm of quantum mechanics, this principle gets shattered. Enter the observer effect, a phenomenon suggesting the very act of observing a quantum system can change its state. This mind-bending concept has captivated scientists and philosophers alike, prompting the question, does observing reality alter it, or are we more like co-creators of our experience? The double-slit experiment stands as a monument, a stark and humbling reminder that the universe we perceive is a mere sliver of a far vaster and stranger reality. Here, in this deceptively simple setup, a wall with two thin openings and a stream of subatomic particles, the very fabric of existence unravels, revealing a quantum world that dances to a different tune. Imagine this, we fire electrons, those fundamental building blocks of matter, like tiny bullets towards a barrier. In the classical world, the world of everyday experience, we expect clear-cut results. Two distinct bands of light would appear on a screen behind the barrier, one for each slit the electron traversed. A straightforward, Newtonian ballet. But the quantum world scoffs at such predictability. When we unleash the electrons without prying eyes, a different story unfolds on the screen. Instead of neat bands, a mesmerizing interference pattern emerges, a rippling tapestry of light and darkness, a testament to the wave-like nature of these tiny particles. They diffract around the slits, blurring the lines between particle and wave, existence and possibility. However, the true mind-bender awaits. The moment we introduce an observer, a detector to pinpoint which slit the electron chooses, the delicate dance of the wave function collapses. Poof! The interference pattern vanishes. The electron, seemingly shy under our watchful gaze, transforms into a well-defined particle, localized at a single slit. This isn't a parlor trick, a magician's sleight of hand. This is the profound reality revealed by the double-slit experiment, a reality where the act of observation itself shapes the nature of what is being observed. It forces us to confront the unsettling truth, the universe might not exist in a predefined state waiting to be discovered. It might, in some fundamental way, be co-created by the very act of looking. The implications of this experiment are nothing short of profound. It shatters our comfortable notions of separateness, suggesting a deeper interconnectedness between observer and observed. It forces us to question the very nature of reality, the line between the possible and the actual. The double-slit experiment isn't just a peek into the quantum bazaar. It's a portal to a universe teeming with possibilities, a universe where the act of observation itself might be the key to unlocking its deepest secrets. The double-slit experiment throws a pebble into the placid pond of our understanding of reality, sending ripples that are still spreading outwards. At the heart of the disturbance lies the observer effect, a phenomenon that ignites a philosophical firestorm about the very nature of existence. The Copenhagen interpretation, a cornerstone of quantum mechanics, challenges our classical notion of a predefined, objective universe. It proposes a world where quantum systems, like the electron in the double-slit experiment, exist in a state of superposition, a blurry haze of potentialities. Before observation, the electron isn't definitively traversing slit A or slit B, it exists as a possibility wave encompassing both paths simultaneously. It's as if reality itself holds its breath, waiting for the observer's gaze to collapse this wave function into a single, localized particle. 
This interpretation forces us to confront a startling truth. The universe might not be a static collection of objects waiting to be discovered. It could be a dynamic dance between observer and observed, with the very act of looking shaping the fabric of reality itself. Are we passive witnesses, or are we somehow entangled in the very existence of the quantum world? The many worlds interpretation takes this notion to a dizzying extreme. It posits that the act of observation doesn't collapse the wave function, instead, the universe splits into multiple realities, one for every possible outcome of the experiment. With each observation, the cosmos fractures, branching into a multiverse teeming with countless versions of ourselves making different choices and experiencing different destinies. While this interpretation might seem fantastical, it underlines the same crucial point. The observer is no longer an impartial bystander. They are an active participant in the unfolding drama of existence. These seemingly contradictory interpretations share a fascinating commonality. They both elevate the observer from a detached witness to a crucial player in the quantum game. Could this translate to a more participatory role in shaping our own reality? Does our manifestation identity, the sum of our beliefs and expectations, act as a lens through which we filter the possibilities of the quantum world, nudging the wave function towards a desired outcome? The observer effect doesn't offer definitive answers, but it opens a door to a profound possibility that we are not merely observers of the universe, but co-creators. The act of observation may not be a passive act of looking, but an active act of shaping the world around us, both on a quantum level and on the grand stage of our own experience. Manifestation the age-old practice of focusing our thoughts and intentions to bring about desired results resonates with a deep human yearning to influence the world around us. While the observer effect doesn't offer a magic wand for instant gratification, it opens a fascinating window into a potential link between our inner world and the unfolding of reality. Enter the concept of the manifestation ID a constellation of beliefs, expectations, and the very way we project ourselves onto the world. Thinkers like William James, a pioneer of pragmatism, believe that our beliefs are not mere mental constructs, but active forces that shape our reality. In the context of the observer effect, our manifestation ID might not be a passive observer, but a potent participant in the quantum dance. Imagine the universe as a vast symphony of possibilities, a swirling sea of potential outcomes. Our manifestation ID could act as a tuning fork, resonating with certain frequencies within this quantum orchestra. This doesn't imply direct control over reality, but a subtle influence on the probabilities that unfold before us. By cultivating a manifestation ID that embodies the qualities and experiences we desire, we might be aligning ourselves with the pre-existing potentialities within the quantum realm. It's as if our beliefs act as a filter, amplifying certain possibilities while letting others fade into the background. Take, for example, the aspiring entrepreneur. Imbued with a manifestation ID of confidence, resourcefulness, and a clear vision, they'll be more likely to spot opportunities, attract collaborators, and navigate challenges. The universe doesn't bend to their will, but their manifestation ID allows them to harmonize with the pre-existing possibilities that lead to success. However, a manifestation ID limited by fear or scarcity acts as a dampener, muting the symphonies of abundance and fulfillment. It's not about forcing the universe to comply, but about aligning ourselves with its inherent potential. The observer effect suggests that our manifestation ID might not just be a reflection of reality, but a co-creator of it. 
by cultivating a powerful and expansive manifestation ID, we might be tuning into the grand symphony of the universe, subtly influencing the probabilities that resonate with our deepest desires. This is not a call for blind optimism, but for a conscious awareness of the power we hold in shaping our experience. The observer effect doesn't offer definitive answers, but it opens a door to a profound possibility that by aligning our manifestation ID with the unfolding drama of the quantum world, we can become active participants in co-creating a reality that reflects our deepest desires and resonates with the symphony of the universe. The observer effect stands as a profound enigma, a paradox that shatters our classical understanding of reality and opens a portal to a universe teeming with possibilities. It remains a scientific mystery, a puzzle that continues to challenge the brightest minds. Yet, even in the face of the unknown, the observer effect whispers a fascinating secret, a secret with profound implications for the concept of manifestation. Whether the act of conscious observation directly sculpts reality or simply aligns us with pre-existing potentialities within the quantum soup, it offers a captivating framework for understanding the power we hold in shaping our world. Our manifestation ID, that constellation of beliefs, expectations, and the very lens through which we project ourselves onto existence, might be more than a passive observer. It could be a potent participant in the grand symphony of the universe. Imagine the cosmos not as a static backdrop, but as a vibrant tapestry woven from possibility. Every action, every thought, ripples outward, influencing the threads of this tapestry. Our manifestation ID acts as a tuning fork, resonating with certain frequencies within this quantum orchestra. It doesn't exert absolute control, but it subtly amplifies certain harmonies, nudging the unfolding of reality towards a state that aligns with our deepest desires. This doesn't diminish the role of action or hard work. It is not a passive surrender to wishful thinking. Instead, it suggests a dance between intention and action, a co-creation with the inherent potential of the universe. By cultivating a manifestation ID imbued with confidence, resourcefulness, and a clear vision, we become more attuned to the opportunities that resonate with our desires. We navigate challenges with a deeper sense of purpose, attracting the building blocks and collaborators needed to bring our dreams to fruition. The observer effect, then, becomes an invitation to explore the frontiers of our own consciousness. As we delve deeper into the mysteries of quantum mechanics, we might also unlock the secrets of our own minds. The link between observer, manifestation ID, and the unfolding of reality may reveal itself as a powerful tool, not for controlling the universe, but for co-creating a life that reflects our deepest desires and resonates with the symphony of existence itself. This is a journey that transcends mere manifestation. It's a call to awaken to the participatory nature of reality, a universe where we are not simply observers, but co-creators. It's a profound enigma, a paradox that beckons us to explore the depths of our own potential and rewrite the narrative of our existence.